Hello everyone, I'm Rohini and today I'm going to practice Lotus Pose, also known as Padma Asana. Padma meaning Lotus and Asana meaning Posture. So if you are a beginner, then you might want to just watch this video, watch this practice and come back to it later. Increase the flexibility around your ankles, increase the flexibility around your knee joints and then come to this part because it comes under the category of advanced poses. If you attempt to do this practice while you are a beginner and your joints are still not ready for this practice, then you will struggle and fight into this pose with your own body and that way you can actually get injured, you can create cramps which we don't want. We want the practice to be smooth and easy. So please come back to it later but you can always watch and keep it in your saved list. So if and, and if you are the one who is ready for it, so let's begin with the practice. I'll show you how to correctly get into the lotus pose and how, how lotus pose actually looks like because we had I have seen a lot of people doing lotus pose incorrectly thinking that is the correct version so I'll show you the incorrect version as well so first I'll show you how to get into the correct version of lotus pose extend both the legs to the front like so this is known as dandasana always lift your left hip out lift your right hip out press the hip down this way you're creating a broader base because now you're in a seated position so your hips become your foundation so you're creating a broader foundation and a broader base for yourself then bring the right leg on top at the highest highest point of the left leg so the outer ankle of your right leg comes up and sits right on top of the thigh of the left leg the half of your feet is out so if you see my feet of the right leg is out the heel is pressing against my left stomach it is uh, it is also a location of my left kidney so i ideally my heel the right leg's heel is pressing against my left kidney and i press my right knee gently down remember here you need to press the heel down so if you feel you're here so you might want to press it gently down with exhalation But remember that the knee will never touch the floor. So take it easy. If it doesn't touch the floor, don't push it too harshly because it's not going to touch the floor. It's not supposed to because you're not yet in a full lotus pose. Keep breathing deeply and after a couple of moments, switch legs. Stretch the right leg, bend the left leg and then bring the outer ankle of the left leg high on top of the thigh of the right leg. And then inhale. If you feel that your leg is your knee is here, then inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Whenever you're stretching or whenever you're doing these kind of movements, always use breathing, always use breaths. Exhale, keep breathing deeply. Hold for a moment. Remember that the leg which is extended, the foot of the extended leg is facing towards the north. So it is not sliding down like this in a sleep state. It is alert and awake and it is pointing towards the north. So the feet, the center of the shin bone, the center of the knee and the center of the thigh of my extended right leg is now pointing towards the north. And same thing you have to do with the other leg when that's extended, when the left leg is extended. Breathe deeply and switch. Again, bend the right leg, place the outer ankle of the right leg high on top of the thigh of the left leg where the heel of the right leg is touching the left stomach or we say you can say left kidney half of my feet it feet is out and breathe deeply now what i'm going to do is i'm not going to keep this knee leg straight i'm going to bend this leg left leg and i'm going to bring it underneath this is known as ardha padmasana underneath my right thigh and I'm going to breathe deeply. I'm going to push the right knee gently down, gently down, no struggle and breathe deeply. You can see that my spine is already elevated. This is one of the most uh, favorite pose, postures or poses of the sages, ancient, ancient sages because this pose actually, not, not Ardha Padmasana but Padmasana helps in spiritual practices, helps to increase the energy from the root chakra to the sahasrara chakra, from the muladhara chakra to the sahasrara chakra, the crown of the head. So it's very good for spiritual practices and it is very good for practitioners who are interested in meditation. Inhale, exhale and relax, extend the right leg to the front, bring, bend the left knee and bring the outer ankle of the left leg on top of the thigh of the right leg where the heel of my left leg is pressing against my 
right side of the stomach and the right kidney and then I'm going to bend this right leg and bring the heel underneath my left leg's thigh and I'm going to breathe deeply. A nice straight long spine is extremely important when you're doing yoga or when you're doing meditation or you're doing any kind of spiritual practices. A nice straight spine is extremely important. It is also very important for those who are not interested in spiritual sadhanas and spiritual practices, but just overall in general, they are interested in their health. For them as well, a straight, nice long straight back is equally important for biological reasons, for anatomical reasons. So. Padmasana is the best pose for everybody, but you need to learn to get into this pose. So you need to make your ankles and knees flexible. And this happens over a period of say weeks, months, years. It depends on the practitioner. Now we're going to get into the full pose extend. After a couple of while you stayed there. Remember, the longer you hold those positions, the more your knees and ankles will open up. But if it's, it, if it's too difficult for you, then release the pose. Okay, so now I'm going to do the full Padmasana. Bend the right leg, lift the hold the right leg and place the outer ankle of the right leg on top of the thigh at the highest point of the left leg. The heel of my right leg is actually pressing against my left stomach, left kidney. Then watch this. I'm going to bend this left knee. I'm going to lean forward and I'm going to grab hold of my I'm going to bring the right knee gently down and grab hold of my arch of the left leg with my right hand, grab hold of the shin and the calf of the left leg with my left hand and I'm going to lift it up and place it high on the thigh of the right leg. So my left heel is pressing against my right stomach and right kidney and my uh, right leg's heel is pressing against my left stomach and left kidney and this is how your lotus pose should look like. You gotta breathe deeply here for a couple of breaths. Whenever I sit for my meditation, this is the pose I use. Initially, I started with uh, two minutes, five minutes, then 10 minutes, and then now I can sit for approximately 45 to 47 minutes easily in this pose. After say about 47, 45, 47 minutes, I wanna release it. So I'm trying to make it to an hour. But it has been a beautiful journey with Padmasana for me. So I feel that if you can lock yourself here, try to sit for as long as you can. But remember, don't aim at sitting for, for one hour instantly, initially. You need to gradually get into it. Remember, we don't want to fight with our body in yoga. We want to get into the poses smoothly, as smoothly as possible. And the journey is more important. The destination is not so important. Just the journey. Enjoy the journey. Okay, so if it takes you weeks, if it takes you months, it's okay, just enjoy the journey. And then when you feel you're really comfortable here, so today it's not a meditation video, so I'm not going to talk about meditation. But yes, if you are into meditation, you are a spiritual seeker and a practitioner, then please lock yourself in these positions. This will really help you in your practices, in your sadhana. You will see that you can you can connect with your, your divine being much quickly and much easily, much effortlessly if you've locked yourself in lotus position. Remember, Gautam Buddha sat in lotus position. He Wherever he set, his, he set his foot, a lotus flower bloomed. Our goddess Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, is, see, is, is seen seated in a lotus, in an open lotus. So lotus is, uh, uh, is you can say, is connected with spirituality. It is connected with, uh, you know, rebirth, with growth, with uh, enlightenment, with awareness. So uh, lotus position will really help you heighten your awareness, heighten your, you know, attentiveness when you are meditating. So please try it for yourself and see how it, how you how you feel. I love it. So once you feel that you're here, now right now we are doing asana. So I'm going to take two blocks. I'm going to place the blocks right next to my thigh. I'm going to press my hands into the blocks. I'm going to lift myself up. I'm going to breathe deeply. Exhale. Pull the stomach in. Inhale, exhale and gently drop yourself down and breathe. If you do this a couple of times, it's a very good core strengthening exercise as well. And you just enhance, uh, you know, uh, your lotus pose day in and day out by doing different variations of the lotus pose. So don't just sit there. You can do so many things in the lotus pose. 
So that was your lotus pose. Now I'm just going to quickly tell you how people do it incorrectly. Just come out of it using your hands. If you see, I've used my hands a lot. Please use your hands a lot. Um, the incorrect way would be, uh, what I have seen people doing is something like this. Okay, so if you see yourself locking yourself like this, if you see my heel is not even touching my stomach, it is far away, it is a few inches away from my stomach and um, my ankles are, you know, in a very uncomfortable position. It's My ankles have no support technically, my ankles are not supported, my ankles are, you know, twisted. Uh, my feet is instead supported. So if you see my feet, the back of my feet is resting on the thigh, mid thigh. It's not even here where it is supposed to be. It is somewhere here in the mid thigh. And my heels are, uh, you know, free. And my ankles are not supported because I'm locking somewhere at the shin. Especially my lower, my right leg's ankle, the leg which is down, is completely free. I can feel the bone, the ankle bone here. This is a very uncomfortable and this is actually not even Padmasana. If you see yourself being seated in this position thinking you're doing Padmasana, then please, please don't believe in it. Change it right away. The correct Padmasana is just what I've shown you just now. This is not Padmasana at all. In fact, this is quite damaging for your ankles in the long run because your ankles are very uncomfortable and uh, you will develop ankle pain and uh, deformation in the, in the ankle joint if you continue to sit in this manner. It is extremely important that you learn this and you know this. I am so glad that I came to know about the correct way of being seated in a Padmasana and I would like to share with you all as well because I've seen so many people doing Padmasana like this. So remember this is not Padmasana, this is incorrect. So the correct version once again quickly, the outer ankle of the right leg has to sit right on top of the left thigh, high on the left thigh and the feet is out, the ankle is in, the ankle is supported, the feet is out, okay and you change. You hold, you wrap, you're using your hands. See how I'm using my hands, I'm leaning forward, I'm going backward. You know, you have to do all these adjustments to get into the pose. And there you go, that. So your interlacing of the leg, if you see my interlacing of the leg is at my shins, at my calf. You see the shin and not at the ankle, where the ankle is not even supported. Okay, see now, see my ankles are well supported, so I will never develop any kind of pain or deformity in my ankles and I'll be able to say, so you need to have strong knees here. So if your knees are weak or if your knees are tight and stiff, ankles are tight and stiff, then you might want to work on uh, loosening them up, making them more flexible and mobile by practicing basic yogic exercises. So I hope you like this practice and I, I really wish that you perform this in a correct way and you keep progressing in your spiritual path. Thank you so much everyone. Love you all. Goodbye and see you soon.